Yes. No, I'm larger than that nigga, Steven Seagal. I'm going to be a big-ass movie star off that shit. Look, nigga, I told you to stop showing the fucking tape. And why you keep on bitching about my tape, man? God damn, ain't shit going to happen. All right? All right, Trevor, where you from, man? I'm in Houston. Third Ward. Third Ward? How old are you, man? 59. 59? Yeah. You kind of look like my grandfather, man. Hey, man. Isn't that? I look like 69. Huh? 59, 69. Huh. Okay, man. So so tell me your story, man. Give me your spiel, bro. Hey, man. Born and raised in Houston, Third Ward. Okay. The high, finished high school. Okay. Went to the military. Did four years. You've been in the military? Yeah. Okay. Started drinking. What's first was drinking? Yeah. Alcohol. Yeah. Real heavy. I got up in the drugs. Lost my wife, lost my brother, lost, yeah. lost my wife. And how you lose your wife if you don't mind yeah. me asking? Well, she left me because I was started drinking and doing drugs. Oh, okay. I was losing every job I had. You have any kids, man? Yeah, four, four, four daughters. Four daughters? Yeah. Okay. They got all grown. How long you been on the streets, bro? Two years. Three well, years? off and on, two years. Two years? Off and on, like, like I'm up for housing now, so. Yeah. Oh, so you waiting for your housing to come yeah. in? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, uh, waiting on my disability. Disability? Yeah. Oh, you get that from from uh being from being a veteran? Yes. Tell right. me about yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm excuse me for coming in like you. Tell me about yourself though, man. You coming over here quiet and shit. Tell me about who <laughs> what, who we talking to. How, how you hey, man. Up, what, what happened? From man, third war, man, and you started drinking, doing a bunch of drugs and you know, drinking and drugs, can't couldn't hold down a job. You know, couldn't pay my bills. Lost oh, my wife. What about your wife? What about your wife? Man, all kinds of jobs, man. Different places. So yeah. you outgrew them or they outgrew you? I guess you say I grew them, huh? Huh? Well, now nah, they outgrew me. That would be right with the field. So what's your goal right now, man? What's, what's your drug of choice, nigga? What you be on? Crack. Okay, so that's been around since the 80s. So I ain't really trying to hear that, man. How you, why you ain't fell off in the 80s and 90s, man? Why, why you decided to... To go for it hard in, in, in later 2000. Hey, hey, and later 2000s. I was just drinking. <laughs> now you talking, that hey, and I was drinking hard. And, and you know the crazy thing about it? I took this guy. Put that back on. Oh yeah, you got put it. Fell off. Yeah, this is a club, man. Hold on, man. That go. The crazy thing about it, when I was drinking. I was drinking. I'm an alcoholic, man. I drink all day. I drink all day. I'm an alcoholic. I drink all day, man. And when I start doing crap, now I don't hardly want to drink. No it's like switched up. So, how, so my father, uh, you know, he struggled with that, man. You know, and so how, that, I've always wanted to know, is it really hard to get off that shit? I mean, for me it is. Okay. But then I'm gonna tell you the truth, I have never really tried. Uh, let me ask you this, what, was the, what, what did it feel like the first time you hit the ball? That's the real question. Like, man. What it feel like? It's a hell of a feeling, man. I mean, it's like, you want more, you want more. Unk said it feel like goddamn trains and shit was in his head when he did it. Like you know whistling, man, yeah, whistling, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whistling. Yeah, man, it's like whistling. In the interview? Man. How long you were married with your wife? How long y'all stayed together? Seven years. Did she get on your motherfucking ass before, yeah. before it completely went left? Did she get on your oh, yeah. motherfucking ass? Oh, yeah, yeah, gave me plenty of chance. Gave me plenty of chance. So you ain't here to blame nobody. You can take blame myself, yeah. I'm taking all the, yeah. all the money. That's real. That's real. So if you if you was given the opportunity tomorrow to change your life, would you take it? Yes. You would. Yeah. Yeah. See, a lot of people we've interviewed. Uh, they say know, they're happy out here. They, they, they tell me it's yeah. cool. But then cool. we've interviewed some people that, that would want to take that help, like, instantaneously. You know what I mean? Yeah, so what we do is, man, we just like to get people stories. We, we feel like the stories of the streets is very, and it's, it's very important, you know what I'm saying? Because this new generation is lost. You know what I mean? Like, uh, a, lot of, a lot of folks dying from that fit and all this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and so I think people... I think they need more of a, of, of, a, of an awareness, you know what I mean? And so we appreciate your time and your story. Your story is, is important, you know what I'm saying? I want to yeah. say this, man. I feel like people dying because of the decisions they make. You know what I'm saying? Man, they, that's what it is. You it's your choice, man. You yeah. make a decision. Everybody got a choice. So 
I'm gonna ask you to give the young people some motherfucking words of encouragement, man. Right? Man, listen to your parents. If I was, I was about to not even start drinking. Yeah. You know, don't listen, start drinking? Don't start drinking. Yeah. And definitely don't start doing drugs. That's right. Don't try it. You see, I can stop anytime I want. That's right. Yeah. That's right. When the last time you had a, a hot meal, bro? About three days. Three days ago? Yeah. So, so, so you, do you still have any, any sort of support system? Yeah, they come out in fever. Come out with a sack of I'm talking about that. like your family. I, most of them is my sister, my little sister. Uh, and she told me family? I can I can come. I have. Yeah. So you she, broke that bridge. Yeah. No, nah, my little sister told me I can come stay with her if I got out of your. Yeah. I went to rehab and that thing. Well, nigga, if that's the case, then you don't want to make the change, bro. You just told me. <laughs> it's just hard for me to get out of the drugs, man. Okay. Make that decision, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's it. It's hard, man. All right, man. Thanks so much for your time, and I want to tell you, man, I love you as a brother, bro. And it ain't how you how you start, it's how you finish. Man. Thank you, man. Love you too. That's on the one. All right.